In this video, we learn to approximate by rounding to a whole number or to one or two decimal places. We'll have a look at what that means in practice, but we round in daily life when it comes to shopping. So you kind of estimate given the amount. So you actually round in order to estimate. And this is what we're going to be doing now. So we're going to round to a whole number to one decimal place and to two decimal places. To round to a whole number means to have your answer as just a whole number. No decimal point and no decimal places. So there we have 4.6. That means I just want an answer. That is a whole number. So 4.6 is between 4 and 5. Which one is it closer to? 4 or 5? And that is actually closer to 5. And I can show that here so 4 and 5 there is 4.5 4.6 would be here so that is closer to 5 and for that reason we'll round it to 5 round it to the whole, nearest whole number that is a 5 15.4 is between 15 and 16 and that is 0.4 which means it's closer to 15 so the answer will actually be 15 to the nearest whole number. 416.48. So that is between 416 and 417. Now, if this was money, it would be 416 pounds and 48 pence. 48 pence is closer to 416. So it's less than halfway through between 416 and 417. If it was 50 pence, then we would go up. So we're going to round down to have this as 416 to the nearest whole number. Now to one decimal place. So we've got 4.7.48. We need to have just one decimal place, meaning that I need to cut off this decimal here. So I need to have just for 7.4 or 7.5 so which one is this closer to and of course it is closer to 7.5 because of the 8 and we've said is if it's 5 6 7 8 or 9 then we round up so this goes to 7.5 now again i need to cut this off here so do i have 3.0 or 3.1 I'll go with 3.0 because 4 is rounding down, so means rounding down. So I can have this as 0, 3.0 or just 3. Now 15.839. Again, I need to cut this off here because this is telling me one decimal place. So in order to decide, I'll look at the digit on the right and that is the three and we've said if it's zero one two three or four we round down so we'll keep this as 15.8 rather than 15.9 now to two decimal places so we go cutting off here so do i keep this as 16.43 or go to 16.44 now the 2 next to it, next to the 3, tells me that we've got to round down. So we're going to keep this as 16.43. Again, 1, 2, so cut off here. The 9 tells me whether I keep this as 0 or round it up to make it a 1. So 9 is one of the high numbers, which means we need to round up. So this becomes a 1. So I have now 19.91 and again here I need to cut this off here so we go 19.99 and this tells me I need to round up so this is a 9 it becomes 10 but as we've talked before we've talked about this before it means we need to transfer one over here and then one over there so this now rounded to two decimal places becomes 20 or 20.00 20 .00 if you like. So 
Now, a final example, we've got 10.508, which I'll run to the nearest whole number, to one decimal place and two decimal places. So, to the nearest whole number, this is actually 10.508, so I'll keep it as 10 or go to 11 is the question. And to decide that, so here is the cutoff point, I look on the right, so this is a 5, meaning that I need to round up. So this is actually more than 50 pence if it was money. So I would round this to 11, to the nearest whole number. To one decimal place, meaning I need to have just one digit here after the decimal point. So I'm going to either have 10.5 or 10.6. Looking at the digit next to the 5 where I need to cut it off, it's a 0, meaning that I need to round down. So this is going to stay as a 5. So I'll have 10.5. To two decimal places, meaning that I need to cut this off here. So I'll look on the right, we've got an 8, meaning that I need to round up. So this becomes a 1. So we have 10.51. So I hope this has shown you how to approximate by rounding to a whole number to one decimal place or two decimal places.